Well, the Winnipeg Community Support Policy was passed just over a year ago. And in that time, I mean, it is a policy that's going to have years and years of impact. And so we're just in the early stages of implementation. We're trying to work together and trying to bring people with diverse backgrounds and diverse perspectives together for a common goal. And that's probably the biggest thing I think that the sport policy can, can leave as a lasting legacy is, is to be that catalyst to open those and keep those doors open. I think that this sport policy has done a very good job in bringing community members or community-based organizations to the table where decisions are made or where directions are taken and really take into consideration their needs, their strengths and their gaps. I think it's, a, it's the right time um, to start looking at something, a system that's been around for years and say, well, there's things that are, that are great, but there are definitely things that we could be improving on. Not everybody has those opportunities and, you know, from the perspective of, of uh, supporting people who are living in poverty, perhaps sports gets left to the side. You know, sometimes the parents don't even know what recreation and sport opportunities are here in Winnipeg, in their city, in their neighborhood. They might not have the right knowledge and so we're working to educate folks on the importance of being active and participating as well as the opportunities and how to get it connected into that system. The desire, the need, um, the drive still needs to come within those groups that are now going to be working together. Once, once those barriers of communication start breaking down, you can really start working and making some changes. New players are around the table. Um, for the Winnipeg Regional Health Authority, we have now uh, lots of conversations happening on within our own organization of people that they didn't really see um, a part of the sport delivery system. We can now look at things, not only just more connections out there, but looking at things, maybe duplication of services, as opposed to us or us and another group offering and running the same experience. If we were to bring our efforts together under one in one operation, we can improve, greatly improve uh, the efficiency of how we deliver sport. They created this cross-sector sport initiative, so my position, to bring as a voice of the community and to make things happen. And we brought soccer as an organic way to develop community when we saw, you know, 40 to 60 parents on the sidelines, you know, cheering, uh, grandparents, aunts, and it was a whole party in the community and it was really fun and we also saw a new uh, bike program in partnership with Heading League and you know the support um, from a whole different partners made this program really happen because it, it grew and it grew as people and organizations really showed their passion. Our efforts are going to be put towards helping any family who wants to participate in an organized sport. Ultimately it's it's still that effort to get that person in the gym, on the court, on the field, on the ice, and keep them on there. It's, it's really for everybody, and I think, you know, it's the whole idea of, like, if you have a good party, everybody's going to come in.